Right now, Georgia lawmakers are considering two bills that would affect which books your kids can find on school shelves. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley is digging into those bills and what inspired them and how lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are reacting. Two bills are making their way through the state Senate, both sponsored by Republican lawmakers. First, SB 390, it would loosen restrictions on librarian certification and cut funding to any programs tied to the American Library Association, the only group that can accredit librarians in the state of Georgia. Supporters say ALA believes in Marxist ideology and taxpayers should not support them. The ALA sent 11 Alive a statement saying it was closely following SB 390 and that it was committed to providing free and un unfettered access to a wide range of info in libraries. Another bill, SB 394, would require the State Board of Education to establish standards for school books and define what material could be harmful to minors and sexually explicit. These bills seek to intimidate rather than to teach. Tracy Nance is a former Georgia Teacher of the Year. She opposes these bills, calling them an attack on civil liberties that put Georgians' identities, experiences, and access to information at risk. If you have ever deeply connected with a book and found yourself experiencing um, that representation, that sense of belonging, books do that for us. And when we, these bills themselves, they are threatening to take that away from our kids. Decatur High School sophomore Nia Batra fears the passage of these bills could mean the very books she grew up with could no longer be found in her school library. I'm Asian and queer myself. I really needed those books growing up. With a bill like this, with um, its vague language, um, those books are going to be the first that educators take off the shelves. Rhonda Thomas supports both bills, saying some inappropriate material could lead to mental health issues and violence among kids. Why would we not want the best for our children? Why would we not want them to be safe and protected? If passed, both pieces of legislation would take effect July 1st, 2025. In DeKalb County, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.